Hello everybody, this is Fabricio Rodriguez from the University of Campinas, Unicamp, and I'm going to present our work towards an in-network UAV centralized collision avoidance algorithm in programmable data planes. With 5G networks arriving, several opportunities and challenges emerge. From this perspective, new applications in industry, IoT, UAVs, are gaining new envisions. To achieve these new requirements, the network capabilities need to grow accordingly. With the new generation networks, ultra-low latency applications requires low loss and delay variation. Considering different types of delays that can affect applications is crucial. We can have horizontal delays that enclose the nodes processing or the distance of the destinations and vertical delays that came from the need for operational system or application processing. As part of the ultra-low latency applications, UAVs and drones are powered by enhanced network characteristics. Usually, UAVs have external sensors that are used to identify what is happening in the environment. Avoiding a possible collision, for instance, is crucial. To process all the information collected, the UAVs are connected to powerful remote APIs that monitor and intervene if needed. What are our challenges? A fast response. We need to react in time to avoid a possible collision or an incident. To reduce the response time, a data can be processed near the application, for instance, in the edge device. A data plane solution can be used to implement an in-network function. But how to implement this in an edge device? We can use a P4 approach. And this approach needs to respond as the remote API solution does. This is our drone scenario. It is based on a 5G structure where the drones are set in the axis of the network. Despite the major characteristics of 5G networks, horizontal delays can affect the performance of end-to-end -end communication. Powerful remote APIs can be deployed in the MIC or an extender network like the cloud to act in critical circumstances. For instance, collision, damages, human injuries, etc. From the cloud environments, we have vertical delays that also have an impact in the communication. Adding the remote API functions in the edge device, for instance, a collision avoidance algorithm, we avoid the latency of the MAC. This is around 5 to 15 milliseconds, or even of an external network that is more than 10 milliseconds. When a drone needs to move to a target position, normally there are two principal control strategies, a distributed and a centralized. In a distributed environment, each drone communicates with its nearest devices. The drones know the location and activity of the network. By the other hand, in a centralized environment, each drone communicates directly with the remote API. In this scenario, the remote API knows the location and activity of all the drones. We propose an in-network centralized collision avoidance algorithm in programmable data planes. We bring the network functions to the edge programmable data plane and take in advantage the benefits of a P4 device like high performance, reconfigurability, and protocol independence. We propose a centralized environment with remote API functions in the Edge P4 device. Some of the benefits of a programmable data plane approach in in-network applications were also explored in previous works. The Edge P4 device has several benefits, like high performance, reconfigurability, protocol independent, and a solution that can be closer than an MAC approach. But uh, we must consider the challenges of the architecture, like limit of complex operation, limited processing, limited memory. With these considerations, some of the remote API functions that can be deployed in a P4 device are, for instance, a collision avoidance algorithm or a path planning algorithm. In this case, we are going to be focused on a collision avoidance algorithm implementation. 
Now let's talk a little bit about the implementation, the testbed, the strategies that we are going to take for the avoidance algorithm and the before implementation. Basically, this is our testbed. Drones are implemented in Copelia Sim together with the fly mechanisms and hardware representations. The P4 code with the collision avoidance algorithm runs in a Tofino device, and the remote API is a Python script that is connected to Copelia Sim over a TCP session. This uh, remote API controls the drone's destinations, formations, and actions. Here we can see the communication process between the simulation and the remote API. The remote API can send commands to the simulation, for instance, get position. The simulator processes the commands and responds with the required data, for instance, the current positions. The commands can have additional data, like the set position command, and the simulator processes the commands and responds with an acknowledgement. This is basically data structure that we have in each of the commands. There are different collision avoidance algorithms with different approaches and challenges. If we try to implement an in-network P4 function, we need to see the best algorithm for our use case. Considering the challenges of implementing an algorithm in a programmable data plane, geometric guidance and motion planning are the most suitable strategies for a P4 approach. From geometric guidance, the collision cone is the best match for an avoidance method. The best match for an avoidance method from the motion planning is the prioritized planning. Considering the different strategies in our work, we will focus on VFH plus and 3D VFH plus. This is basically a summary of the main characteristics of the VFH plus algorithm. It gives a smooth robot trajectories and good reliability, and it uses an histogram as an input to process the information. The 3D VFH Plus adds an octo map to a 3D vision of the environment. In practice, this algorithm can respond in average of 300 microseconds. Here we can see the summary of delay times of the remote API approach versus our P4 implementation. This is an overview of our P4 implementation. First, we have a parser that extracts the packet headers of the messages. Then we verify if the message contains a command. If it contains a command, then we directly forward the message. If the verify message comes from the remote API, the histogram updates the information of the packet. The histogram is updated with the information of the packet. With the updated information, it is verified if there is an obstacle nearby. If an obstacle is detected, the algorithm is going to start. So a new position is calculated to avoid a collision. Then the original packet is updated. A clone packet is modified to use as a command to set the new position. And finally, the message is forwarded. As mentioned before, our implementation uses a histogram in P4. The histogram is stored using register. A group represents each part of the histogram. To compare the information of the histogram, it's necessary to recirculate the package. This is the localization of the objects and drones and the representation of the information stored in the histogram. Copelia Sim uses a TCP connection with the remote API. Here we have a challenge. The TCP session can be closed if the packages are verified and directly replied from the P4 code. So we need to handle the TCP session, calculate the ACK and the sequence number accordingly in the P4. For this, the position is verified in the P4. Since the collision path is not detected, the message is forwarded to remote API. The remote API sends an ACK message. The position, the new position is verified in the P4. If a collision path is detected, then a copy of the message is going to be sent to the remote API and, a P4, and the P4 is going to reply with a new position to avoid the collision. 
the remote API also replies with the new position to avoid the collision, but this message is discarded by the P4. The new position is verified by the P4 and the algorithm continues. This is basically the required IT infrastructure that we need. The main components that we need are the servers, we are going to be running the Kubele SIM and the remote API, and the P4 Tofino hardware that is going to be running remotely in our laboratory. Okay, so let's start with our demo. So basically what we are going to use here, as we described it before, is a Copelep p 4 and a remote API. The remote API is basically being in charge of open a uh, connection to Copelep SIM, set the target position of the drones, and uh, basically send all the possible information that the drones need. The P4 is going to be in charge of parse the Copelia SIM to the remote API messages, detect if there is going to be a possible collision, and in, if it's the case, we will send a collision avoidance message to the Copelia SIM that is basically a new position that the drone needs to follow to avoid the, the collision. And uh, finally, it is going to send a notification to the remote API in order to maintain the TCP session. And uh, in the side of the Copelia SIM, it's going to be the simulation of the drones with all the physical logics. Basically, now what we are going to be running here is our P4 code. So this is going to be running in Latofino hardware. And uh, in this side, we are going to have our Phyton remote API script that is going to start running. We are going to send a first destination for the drones. And uh, as we can see, we have detect two collisions, one of drone one and one of drone zero. The drone zero detected a collision in a with an object and drone one it detects a collision with another drone and basically the avoidance procedure started and it avoided the the object and continues to a new position now uh, the uiv1 it returns nearby to the other uav and it was detected a new collision and in uiv0 we can see that there is going to be a new uh, possible collision detected and is going to be avoided by the the collision avoidance algorithm so in this way we basically demonstrate a couple of scenarios that can involve uh, different collisions the results. In this scenario, the UAV0 has a destination point at the other side of the grid, and in its path, it's also crossed by an object. The P4 switch calculates and sends the avoided message when the collision is detected. We can see that the UAV0 is arriving nearby to an object, so Add collision is detected. An avoidance movement is sent to the UAV0 to avoid the collision, and a new path is created. In this scenario, UAV1 has a destination point that is exactly in the location of UAV2. P4 switch calculates and sends the avoidance path when a collision is detected. In this case, one, the, one of the UAVs needs to apply the collision movement. Just to finish our presentation, we propose that an in-network collision avoidance algorithm in edge programmable data planes. We explore the benefits of a P4 device, like high performance, reconfigurability, protocol independent in an ultra-low latency use case.
The collision avoidance algorithm in P4 can detect and react fast to avoid possible impacts effectively. As future work, we are going to have a deep analysis and comparison between remote API-based algorithms and our in-network solution. Also, we will add a new in-network function in the programmable data planes like path planning algorithm. Thanks. This was our demo. Uh, if you have any doubt or you want to reach me out, please send me an email and I will be happy to answer your questions.